Welcome to Sweden and Gothenburg, just uh, south of town. Uh, short video to uh, show you our installation of the Splash 105 watermaker. But before that, it's a, it's a magic morning here. It's mid-December 2017, down in Amunda Marina. It's completely still. It's been gale on gale on gale here all autumn. But today, magic. Some, there's Samantha, our boat. We'll show it to you soon. Some light snow came last night and we're happy to see that more and more people choosing to have their boats in all year round. Not too many out sailing though, but uh, still. So here she is. Here's our Samantha. She is a 1984 built, uh, Swedish built Aphrodite, 40 foot. Uh, we bought her a few years ago and have since then uh, completely refitted her. So she is old. And almost nicotine yellow in color by now, but she she's very nice. New engines, new sail, new electrics, everything. Complete rehaul for a around the world sail. Uh, also, uh, starting next May. Uh, so here she is. And again, the uh, the last big thing the project was the water maker that I've installed successfully. We think so. We'll uh, uh, I'll film, film some from the inside to show you what, how we've done it on our boat. So welcome on board Samantha, I think you can see the, uh, the stairs, you can figure out where we are on the boat. You can see in the top of the picture uh, the Splash 25 main unit we're currently producing. Since we forgot to fill the water tanks before it got cold outside and it took all the main hoses away from the jetty. So <laughs> we need to start filling up for the winter sailing. Uh, anyway, we'll show you how we have installed it. Uh, it was all very easy. But let's, uh, let's start with the, um, uh, the seawater intake underneath the sink. We have chosen to use an existing through hull down there, which gives uh, gives us more than enough of uh, water. We've tested it. It's supposed to be, I think the manual said six liters per minute. I think we made it to 12 even through this uh, narrow connection, so there was no problem at all underneath the water line, of course. It runs uh, from here to our first uh, first option. This is an uh, additional valve we have put on since we can either send through that line, which is of course the, through the water maker or switch the valve and then we can use this foot pump uh, to manually get um, uh, seawater into the into the sink. But anyway, now we're in production mode, so the water comes from there, through the line, underneath these floorboards, into the, uh, what we call the workshop on a boat. Where we have all the, the components installed, the line comes like that, into the uh, sea strainer, currently in production mode, so of course the water goes sea strained. Continues the line, very short way, underneath the water line, that's everything, to the pump. Also underneath the water line, of course. From there, up to the low pressure fiddler. And it comes up, the one on the blue, to the blue line, to the inlet on the back side of the main unit. From there you can see the reject, the brain reject line, I think the word in English is. That we have chosen to connect here. Uh, shortest way, which is the, uh, the self-draining bilge uh, from the cockpit. Uh, we have chose to uh, put on a, it's a reverse flow valve, I don't know what the word in English is, but something like that, which is uh, this little component, just to not get any water up there. The water line runs basically here, so we figured just in case we don't want any more water up there, so don't think we need it, but in any case, there it is. That was the reject, and then the production line comes through here, uh, up to the three-way valve, in up here. Currently we have it in production mode, so it sends it uh, straight into the tank of the boat. We'll show you that in a minute. The coiled up tube is the, we call it our test line, so we can basically, with a simple switch, uh, use that hose which is long enough to flow all the way to the sink, so we can test the water or uh, fill, avoid the tank if we should have any problem with that for, for some reason. So the production line comes down, like that, goes underneath the floorboards with existing other piping and stuff that's under here, as you can imagine. Comes up to here, goes in there, and then we have chosen not to make another hole in the water tank, so we've connected it to the main water filling pipe, uh, which runs up there and then of course ends up on deck for filling topside. 
so that's where it connects and it works really well. This is uh, slightly above a water line, but uh, I don't think that really matters. The pressure is enough to push it in, so it, it works really well. So that's for the production mode. Uh, we have connected, uh, of course, for the, the flush uh, the flush mode. We have connected through here. Very short distance around here. Uh, diesel filter, of course, nothing to do with this. And here we have connected to the um, uh, to the main water line. So this is just after the water pump which is up there. So we can choose between uh, sending it straight into the tank. So currently we're in production mode but we can still use all the taps on board uh, when it's like this. So when we switch it for the flush mode, just pull it up, pull this one up, and then uh, we're using the fresh water to, to clean the unit. All very easy. Uh, so far my uh, I have installed it myself. Uh, I only got help from the uh, from an electrician to hook up the pump. I'm a bit weak on electric, so I don't want to mess with that unnecessarily. Uh, but it was that, that was all. It took him an hour to connect the cables, and that was it. Uh, we tested it on my girlfriend yesterday. She got the instruction book, and she did it from A to B, which adapted the instruction book for this boat, and she uh, she did it perfectly. So we had our first drink of water yesterday. It tasted perfect. So we're very happy. Should also show you the um, the on and off switch uh, with the fuse. We choose one of these, very very simple solutions. Uh, 25 amp fuse, connect to, to the cable there. So on and off, very easy. Overload of any kind, this one will uh, release and uh, it's, it's, the unit is switched off. So that's how we choose to do it on Samantha. Very easy and uh, especially the uh, manual we were very happy with. It was uh, not like the American versions where it's too much text and makes it too complicated. It was straight to the point. And uh, yeah, very easy. Took us a few days to install the whole thing. So, so far, so good. So that is it. Merry Christmas from uh, Samantha.